three seconds later. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> Good God. All right, enough of that shit. Let's go to some actual decent songs for once. Okay, what do we got here? Uh, so we got, uh, yeah, this guy. <laughs> Where the fuck his name is? Oh, no, oh, I'm at play- mm. I could, Oh my god, I gotta stop doing that. That's like a really bad habit of mine. I could try and play at the same time, but I'm not being able, gonna be able to read the lyrics as well, so... That ain't gonna happen. <laughs> nice, uh, mead you got there, Miku. <laughs> Oh, f whatever, I don't care about the bonus effect. <laughs> There's no fast forward button, so you can't, like, skip to exactly where you are, unfortunately, but that's fine. I think listening to the full song wouldn't be too bad. It's just practicing that seems really, um, awkward that it's not implemented. Anyways, our gazes meet inside the closed off world. You may pretend not to notice, but we're drunk on love. Burning heart. I hide it as I draw closer. To feel your sigh would enrapture me. Set a trap now in your ordinary love. Leaving no footprints around. Traps in your defenses. Pick up my violin more often. Like, I don't know if I forgot to play it, but you thought you could see through my words, but you got careless. What is he, the jailbait now? You thought you could drink this powerful potion you knew so well. There's no point turning from rusted chains. The more you fight, the ticking hand of time. Slipped into a deep thicket. The sense of our binding sweat would surely overwhelm us. Set a trap now in your ordinary love. If I find the smallest crack, I'll catch you. This guy's like your everyday Romeo. Suave, sexy, all that good shit. But at the same time, he doesn't keep his head down. He knows when exactly when. He knows what the fuck's going on. <laughs> so he's not like a blind, blind idiot. He knows what's going on, and yeah. He's not the bait, he's the trap. Basically, so. Male power! <laughs> I don't know. What the fuck am I supposed to say for that song? I like it, I guess, but. Fuck it, I like it, I guess. Okay, stick, uh, this is a song that's like really fucking fast, right? What is this costume about? Orbit, or lep, orbit. Dragon Tails? What the fuck? Okay. Alright, orbit, orbit, orbit. Give me that orbit. If I even have that for anything. Ooh, excuse me. Uh, I don't think you have orbit, so I might have to buy that. Yeah, I don't have it. God damn it, Hatune, you're the one that's gonna make me go broke when it comes to buying costume. Here I am shopping for your stupid ass, even though you're a goddamn rich asshole. Uh, why am I doing this for you? Can't you buy your own shit? Why do I have to buy shit for you? Oh fuck, I forgot where it is. Mention out in, uh, Noble Gothic. Shit, what is it again? Orbit. I remember. Got five more left. Out of one, two, three, four, five. Shit, I gotta make this count then. Alright. Then 
Next time I'm probably gonna buy a costume that I don't give a kit. I don't really care about the costume or such thing. Oh yeah, I should have saved my money for that one song. All right, uh, Orbit, where are you? School Siren, Orbit, there you are. Okay, awesome. I think we got shit done. Yeah, we customized. Okay, good. Woo! Let's do this. <clears throat> uh, still, I still don't think I have any confirmation on the green hair girl. Like, I went back to the video and no one told me who the, exactly the green hair girl was. I, I think she's like a mysterious person, but I don't know. Alright. Bring on the Rude Storm! Or, wait, what? Together we watch. Oh, this is not the one, is it? Oh, never mind. <laughs> False, false advertising there. Shit. Fucking us. On a night of countless moments, count it off on our fingers. I ask you, time stop. I said I like you, but you looked away. You pretended not to notice. Enough already! <laughs> When you're beside me, my orbit is always circumpolar. Uh, I can't comprehend the angles of your thoughts rippling like a tremolo. And if I chase you, I'm feeling I'll lose something. Nice super sentai outfit you got there, Atune. Floats up and sails away. Embrace me! We'd be our own! Had we never catch me, I'll leap over Denobola. A position that needs no one. Just like you, my star. As I chase you, a panorama comes into view. Above the music lines, I see a shooting star. I'm going to sing, so shine bright. Speaker. Before I probably need to Google search what speak up means. Oh boy, more uh, searching up shit, okay. I want to laugh, I don't want to be alone. I want to, oh. I want to hear your answer. Even if I'm too scared to listen. I spent so many nights. She sounds like a desperate girl, aren't she? Just making my way into the future. I search, avoiding the twinkle stars. Asking whose side the myths are on. With a sigh, I mark this blue afternoon. I think of you and mutter your name. But such a s shallow love can never reach, ever reach you. I want to see you so badly. The sound of my piano overflows with pain. I hope the lingering echoes reach to you. Embrace me. We'd be on our own had we never met. Trust me, I'll leap over the nebula. A position that needs no one. Kaki song at least. <laughs> So from what I've gathered, it's about a desperate girl who wants a guy's attention, or a girl's attention, I don't know. They don't really spe ever specify whether or not they're talking about a guy's love or a girl's love at all. They just say, I want you, I love you, but they never specify who you're loving. It could be multi-gender as well, so it could be like both genders. But yeah, I think she wants to seek attention from the person she loves, but that person I'm thinking about this literally, literally. It might be um, metaphorically, but I'm just going for what I feel for. I'm just gonna go for literal. I think she wants someone, but she, they're not paying attention to her. Well, when you're wearing that outfit, I think you're gonna capture a lot of attention. Or oh, whatever. What? What does that mean? God damn it! I need. There's some lyrics that I wish that are translated. That's definitely one of them. Anyway, Spica, a bandage folded into a spiral arrangement. Resembling an ear. Oh, okay. So basically, she wants attention. 
Oops, fuck, I pressed circle. From the one that she loves. All right, that's it. That's, uh, that. Uh, we're stopping Kokoro, right? All right. Uh, ooh, fun. We're gonna get fired again at Sega Corporations. All right, Luca, what do you got for me in this, uh... Hello, worker, hello. All right, start. Start the shit up. Alright, give me the bad news. My loaf bo body boiled down the sheet of B4 paper. Hoping someone will accept me. I smile. A twisted problem that defies calculation. Uh, 3979913. <laughs> Is that a reference to something, or are they just spelled Leech just for the sake of spelling Leech? I don't know. That's probably a reference to something, I don't know. And I just wish it could have said boobies instead. <laughs> just to be funny. Alright, and I can't go out and play till it's solved. Others are so far ahead, I'm left behind. Just longing for what's beyond these tracks. Oh well, I don't know what I want to do. I don't know what I can do. Repeating this over and over. I've dragged myself this far. I don't know about tomorrow. I can't change yesterday. Just let me have today. So she never thinks at the she always thinks at the moment, she never thinks about the future or the past. My life hinges in the few lines of Good luck! Was it- Was that say good luck? That looks like a fucking veto letter. I walked around handing it out in pieces, pushing it on people. No one expects much of me, and neither do I. Who will- who, What will we look like after we're all worn out? What did I get for all this? For an answer, I made it this far gritting my teeth. The world may end tomorrow. I may forget about yesterday. Just let me have today. Is there any employees in this facility? Because all I see is you and no one else is working. Is this why you're stressed out from work? Is that because you're a one woman group? Running a corporation, you're the CEO and the game designer of SEGA. I know they're not specifically saying SEGA, it's just sarcasm. Others are so far- oh, we said this already. Where did I get tripped up? Hey, what was I doing? No one expects much of me, I expect nothing. Well, at least higher actors or something. But I don't know what I want to do. I don't know what I can do. necessarily quit, she just wants a day off, I think. That's my guess. Alright, uh, that was Hello Worker. I think I dissected that enough. For what I think. Romeo and Cinderella, let's see what you got. Uh, do I want the unlock? I don't think this is necessary. Vintage, mm, that, I do want to see what the vintage dress looks like actually, though. Alright, that definitely feel like I don't- I didn't buy that yet. Was that an Xbox for a second? What the fuck was that next to her? Like a laptop something? I don't know. Okay! Uh... Customized modules... Fuck, what's the thing again? Vintage dress, here it is. That doesn't look vintage, that looks modern. It looks like something you see from Anime Con. That really does not look vintage at all. Vintage would be like classy, 
fancy. Maybe the Chinese dress would be looking good, but not. Whatever that was. Yeah, what was this? Does that have like a long dress as well, or is it? Yep, this is definitely not vintage. This looks like something from Magic School Girl. I I, I probably made that up. It looks like a Dark Magician outfit or something. Dark Magician Girl. Alright. Yep, totally not vintage. <laughs> Doesn't even look like Cinderella. Like, Cinderella has like a longer dress. A big butt dress. This just looks... Alright, whatever. I'll ignore the outfit. Alright, Romeo and Cinderella. Don't make my love... Wait. Don't make my love your tragic, Juliet. Take me away. That's how I feel. Romeo and Cinderella. So she doesn't want to be tragic like Juliet. She wants to be like Cinderella. Have a happy ending. Tell mom and dad good night. Wish them sweet dreams at least. It's bedtime for grown ups. What? Isn't the other way it's bedtime for kids? Grown ups don't have bedtime schedules unless you have to work. What? Choking on captivating caramel and twining my bare bashful legs. How far can we venture tonight? Be gentle, don't fight. I still have this slight bitter taste. Having been spoiled on mom's homemade sweets. When there's something you don't know, it's only natural to want to find out. Show me everything. And just for you, I'll show you mine too. I am Cinderella, yearning for you. I'll come running in my school uniform. I don't think Cinderella runs in a school uniform. She has a maid outfit, doesn't she? Oh, Magic, please stop before the villain interferes. I'm a Juliet who wants to run away, but don't call me by that name. I, if I happen to live happily ever after, otherwise, where's the fun? Tell me, will you choose life? walk my legs a little bit because I feel a little bit cramped. Won't you peek into my heart and see how it brims with desire. I got room for more. Pack my heart until it's full. Until it fills up the place where you are. But what would be the point? They say happiness comes in small packages. I like how the chorus are not always the same chorus. If something doesn't change, you're going to end up hating me. But mom and dad are the same as ever. They just want more. You're right, I should be honest. The axe I dropped was, the, was one of gold. Cinderella told me one too many lies and got herself swallowed by the wolf. What? Something doesn't change. He's going to end up eating me too. Come to my rescue before it's too late? Wait, hold on. Is this Cinderella or Little Red Riding Hood? What the fuck? Uh, I think you're mixing up your princesses a little, Hatsune. Because I don't remember a big bad wolf in Cinderella, at least to my knowledge. I remember uh, stepsisters who are bitchy as fuck. A very shitty nanny, a godmother, and a prince who took the slipper from... Does this have anything to do with Cinderella or did you pick the Cinderella name because it sounds pretty? Uh, and I, okay, I mean, I don't know if there's any other princesses with very pretty names, but I don't know, Princess Peach? Romeo and Peach, that sounds like a better song title. Zelda? Palu... Palutena? Oh, whatever. Uh, fuck it. <laughs> fuck it. Fuck you! Got it! There we go. Uh, Alright, two more songs, I think, and then I'll turn on the lights because it's getting pretty dark in here. Ooh, okay. 
Oh, this is Darude the Storm, I think. Alright. I'm gonna commit to you for real, sorry. This should be really fast, it's, it's only like, what, one minute? Or something? It's very short, I know. I've come here. From beyond the bounds of science. <laughs> I didn't come with a leak. <laughs> and I wouldn't mind having one. But I wonder if you could... Hurry up and install me on your PC? Is something wrong? You've been staring at the package forever. I'm gonna Miku Miku you. I push myself to sing better. I'm gonna Miku Miku you. You better get ready. Miku! That's all I've gathered so far from this song, just... Oh, I'm Miku. Listen to me, cause I'm Miku. I'm Miku. I'll Miku Miku you, cause I'm Miku. I get it, you're Miku. Is that anything else you don't want to fucking tell me about? Uh, Alright, yeah, I can't really dissect that one at all. I don't like the lyrics, I guess, but the mu music was catchy at least. I'll say that much. Alright, so meteorite. Uh... Do I have it? I don't remember if I have this one at least, so... Let me check... I'm gonna say I don't. I don't, okay. Oh, this better be goddamn worth it. Oh, is that an NES controller? She was holding an NES controller! My favorite! Uh, if you guys didn't know, the NES controller is actually pretty damn fucking comfortable as hell, like... Even though it has very less buttons and only a D-pad, no control stick, it's still very- It's like holding a... Whatchamacallit, what's that controller that Nintendo has? I, I don't know, but it's like- it's like that control- it's like a- well, a Super NES controller. <laughs> that's what I- that's what I have to say, but... Mm, it's... Well, anyways, yeah, controllers, I feel like they're like- I really like controllers when it comes to like... Holding them and just using them, because like... Yeah, they're very comfortable. I very, I very much love that controller, without a doubt. Um, and the NES controller is definitely one of my um, comfortable controllers I felt. Along with the NES. In fact, any of Nintendo's controllers really are pretty comfortable, except for the original classic controller. Um, that's all I saw. I, that's all I think of so far when it comes to Nintendo controllers. PlayStation, hmm, not so much. I'd like the PlayStation 4 controller a lot, but I really fucking hate the PlayStation 3 controller. <laughs> and yet here I am, playing a PlayStation 3 game. I should've used the PlayStation 4 controller for this game. Ah, whatever. <laughs> I just hate the hinges and the triggers, they just feel weird. I like the PlayStation 2 controller more than the 3. Eh, what can you do? Don't even get me started on the Xbox 360 D-pad. Fuck that one. Huh. Anyway, so, uh, what's this song about? Meteorite. My the chime in the dead of night, the clock murmurs, the tick tock that signals the start of the dream. As we search for you, we sing. Very beautiful, definitely. From a distance, we hope our thoughtful voices might reach you someday. Yeah, we finally have different people that's not Hatsune Miku for once. Have more of that, actually. Have more audience, hire more people as actors. A north wind blows through the streets. Hell, hire rabbits, why not? No words from the person we wait for. It definitely has a really nice art style as well. 
Only traces of the coming day. like ripples, upwelling water, waving hair, flock of birds flies away, like they foretell a miracle, cradling the back of a child who waits for the start, a mother's fingertips tremble, I just stand there, motionless, half asleep, I spend around my head, now and all of the hours we walk, have been here reborn, until the gears start moving, God is that very like beautiful sounding like just just the music itself but the lyrics as well like it's very creative and like you could take it for it literally though but you could have it why is there a baby in my hi say hi to YouTube now get the hell out just tell a baby to get the hell out nice all right um well thanks for that interruption Toby <laughs> anyways um yeah this is really sound good sounding I can't say anything else, it just sounds really good. Um, as I uh, figure out where to get for this next uh, outfit, it's a uh, meteorite. I mean, I can't really decipher it too much because it seems very not too many literal. I think you have to really dip. I need to like rewatch or reread through the. Uh... It's really like deciphering a poem. Like, what is that exactly does that mean? And does it really. Do I even have the costume? One minute? Is that it? Anyway. And whether or not you agree to that uh, lyrics and such, I I'm just saying things out of my ass right now. But really, like, if I took more time to really just like, oh, it's fairy dust. Fuck. If I took more time to really try and figure out what that's saying, then I can easily see how that's definitely one of the most beautiful song ever created. Like, even if I don't, in even if I don't relatively agree with the lyrics, the music itself is just really good. Oh fuck, wrong. Wait, apparently she sold out. Uh, okay. What the fuck? Anyway, so yeah, I like the song. Meteorite is definitely my favorite. I see. I keep saying that, but it really is. Like, I can't really think of any other songs, at least on top of my head, that was um. As beautiful as that, honestly. Fairy Dust, is that it? I don't know. Might not. Let me check. Fairy Dust, okay, it is. Alright. This is gonna be the last song for um, this part. Next up, we're gonna wrap things up with all the songs that uh, we have not let yet listened to. Alright. I was really distracted by her ass for a second with that picture. 
Hey, Kokoro, she even has like a heart piece in there. So cute. Whoa, robotic sounds. robot made by a lonely scientist. Oh, that just sounds... Uh, I mean, for what purpose? For sex? Just because she wants a daughter? In almost every way, a miracle. Okay. But this miracle wasn't enough. There was one thing it couldn't run. A heart? A problem called Kokoro. Centuries pass. Left all alone. The miracle robot pleads. I want to know how he felt. Working till his dying days. Making it for me. My Kokoro. Just now it started, a quickening miracle. How did this happen? For some strange reason, the tears won't stop. Why am I shaking? The accelerating beat. Is this the Kokoro I wanted? I think she was trying to find the answer, then when she found it, she found... she felt it. Now I can say these words of truth. Still sounds a little bit robotic though. And offer them to you. Thank you. For bringing me into this world. I already got them, of course. For the days spent here, even as a guy that doesn't really follow Japanese too much, I at least know what Arigato means. For all you've given me. Although she could be saying many katas. Wherever I'll sing. Is she technically also a robot as well since she's a vocaloid? <laughs> I feel like she's being manipulated, even though she's gotten personality. Alright, so this one word has a monologue, right? Uh, where is it? Is it gonna scroll up? It's not gonna scroll up? Oh, it was a miracle! The robot who had found her Kokoro sang out, pouring into the fourth of her feelings into a song. But this miracle was short-lived. The Kokoro has far too big for her, unable to withstand her weight. Her circuit's overloaded! She was broken beyond repair! It was then that her face broke into a smile as her sign visage. Oh, that's a shitty ending. That was a sad ending for such a beautiful song. Aww. So her Kokoro was so big that it essentially destroyed her. Oh man. That sucked. Oh, oh well. Alright. So that was heartful. That, yeah, okay. We get it, we know all the songs are good except for that one piece of shit song that will never be mentioned ever again. Okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. <coughs> we got two more recording sessions. Oh, sorry, no recording session. We got two more parts left, so 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Alright. We'll deal with the next 7 from Break It, Break It to. The Kagero dance. Alright. Stay tuned for more Let's Play, uh, the Hatsune Miku Project Diva F2nd. Thank you, guys.